Switches are an essential component of any local area network, and managing these devices from a single user interface can be a big help. Get started managing your CBS220 devices from within Cisco Business Dashboard, or CBD, and get yourself a little help. Direct management enables the management of a single device without needing a probe on the local network. Cisco Business Dashboard version 2.3.0 supports direct management of the CBS220 series switch as it lacks performance to support an embedded probe. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll talk about how direct management works for CBS220 series switches. The first thing we'll do is log into the switch by using our username and password, then click Login. If the Cisco Business Dashboard is using a self-signed certificate where we are trying to connect to the CBS220 switch for direct management, then we must import the certificate from Cisco Business Dashboard to the CBS220 switch, otherwise it will not trust the source. In case the Cisco Business Dashboard uses a certificate signed by a trusted certificate authority, then we shouldn't need to perform this step. To import the certificate, we will scroll down the page and choose the security menu. Then, we will scroll down again to Certificate Settings and choose that. Then select CA Certificate Settings. This is where we will import the certificate from the Cisco Business Dashboard. Now, to get the certificate details, we will open Cisco Business Dashboard and enter our username and password and click Login. From here, we will go to System Menu, then choose Certificate. Now we will scroll down the page and click Download to download the certificate. We need to note the Cisco Business Dashboard IP address here and write it down or copy it into a notepad as we will need that in a little bit. And then Save File and click OK. Next, we need to get the access key ID and access key secret. To do so, we will go back to the menu and choose Administration and then Users. Once in here, we'll go ahead and click on Admin. Scroll down and click on the Generate Access Key. We need to enter in a description. We'll use CBS220. We can also specify the expiration date or choose Never. We'll just leave it as the default and click Save. This generates an Access Key ID and secret. We need to make sure to either write these down or copy and paste them because we will need them shortly. Now we need to go back into the switch. Click on the plus symbol under the CA certificate table. Here, we need to name the certificate. But we'll use Cisco. We also need to enter the owner details, which will be Cisco in this instance as well. Then we need the certificate itself. We'll go ahead and open the file we just downloaded to a notepad. Scroll down to where it says begin certificate and highlight the entire section. Be sure to highlight the beginning and end of the certificate. Then, copy this using your keyboard or mouse and paste it into the certificate section here and click Apply. Now we will scroll up the page and click on the Administration menu and select CBD Settings Options. We will click on the Enable checkbox next to Call Home Agent Enabled. We can change the Call Home Agent log level here. For this example, we will use Notice. Here, we will go ahead and click on the checkbox to enable the dashboard connection. Next, for server definition, we will click the radio button by IP address. Now here, we will enter the IP address for the Cisco Business Dashboard, which is the same as the one we wrote down or copied earlier. The dashboard port is defaulted to 443. We'll go ahead and keep that. Now we'll need to enter our organization name, which we've created on the Cisco Business Dashboard, and the network name as well. Now we'll need the access key ID in the secret we also wrote down or copied earlier. We'll go ahead and enter those values here, then click on Apply. We should see a green checkbox style notification indicating it was successful. When we refresh the page, we will now see the connection status is now showing as up and the agent version showing as 2.3.0. Now we'll be able to manage the CBS220 switch directly from the Cisco Business Dashboard. That's all there is to it. We are now set up to get the best from our CBS220 device. That's how direct management works for CBS220 series switches. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.